Hello guys, this is PKS. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about REST API, right? So in today's modern world, basically backend provide APIs to frontend. API stand for which basically contains the entire business logic of your application, right? API has four protocols to follow this right so number one you can say soap number two is rest number three is rpc and number four is web socket right but today we are going deep in rest right so rest stands for representational state transfer it is a protocol which follows the client server architecture right so these are the basic principle which basically uh, rest follows so the first is stateless it is the most basic fundamental of the rest protocol that means what exactly the stateless means so let's say client sending lot of requests to server right so in this particular scenario client said all the information which is essentially required to process that particular request but each request is independent and server does not store the client information in each request that means stateless that means server never know the client state right another second is as i told you rest is basically follow the client server architecture so i will go in deep in later on the third is resources right resources is the core of rest so for example let's say you have a user module right in resources so user is a resource right so there are stpp methods that is number four to retrieve to create retrieve delete update right something we are doing with the, such things with stpp request so stpp has methods for example get is you for getting the information cost is for creating the information put is basically update the information delete is for deleting the information and patches for the partial update with provide limited set of data right so guys let's go deeper in these things so guys as i told you uh, rest basically follow the client server architecture it's quite very simple so let's say client request with using a stpp request method and send information to server right and server back to response in to the client basically right so basically client send one stpp request to the, the request so we have to send some information that is we can send some json like username for example first name the city like okay and this is bangalore right so you can send such information using if you want to create something let's say you want to create a user so you will send a post request right with this kind of data right so post is an stp method so you will send some data and server process that request maybe it will talk to a database that store this data into your database and response back with some stpp code right so stp codes may be 2x like 200 for entire success right so in rest basically stpp are the all main things right so let's go with the stpp status and more detail into the stpp methods so guys let's understand more deep about the different stpp methods so for example get is basically to fetch or retrieve the data 
right so in resource url basically we have to use noun instead of verbs for an example let's say i want to fetch users so we have to use users some people try get all users this is not a good practice this is the right one okay and for example if you want to fetch a specific user that means you can use user and one two three one two three is the id of that particular of user right similarly post is basically to create data you can send a request with payload and that will be in json or row format right as i told you earlier like you can send the first name last name and whatever the information you want to store against user as a resource for it and if you want to update then you can use a put method update data if you want to delete then delete data and there once more is patch a partial update so for an example most of the time interviewer ask what exactly the difference between put and patch right so put is basically for the update the data and patch is basically update the partial data for example you would like to update one or two columns and don't want to send the entire object or you can say the more information similar to put right so with less limited information you want to update limited set of columns so patch is the perfect use case for that particular scenario right by using put you can also create data as well that is the another thing you should remember let's go with the stp status code this is essential which basically tell us what exactly the status sent by the server right so 1x6 basically we are used for information code let's say you send request to server the server acknowledge that request that is we can use 1x6 right 2xx i'm telling you the most common ones right so 2x is basically success codes so we use 200 for entire success right and sometimes we use 201 that is a success as well for the post call so most of the people basically use 200 right similarly we have 3xx right so this is basically sometimes we required redirections uh, in uh, some websites or seo purpose so we can use 301 redirect permanent right again the 4xx the so 4xx is basically used for the client error codes so there are for example 401 unauthorized right a 404 not found right 402 similarly 403 so these are basically used for client validation errors right so you can use these 4xx for maintaining the client right the next is 5xx this is the most important one you have uh, most of the time found 502 that means internal server error or a bad gateway i think a lot of folks pretty much aware about this 502 <laughs> internal server error and a 504 uh, basically gateway timeout right so guys that's all for uh, rest apis i think i just quickly conclude all the stuff in 30 seconds so basically rest is uh, basically follow the stpp method and send request to the server and you will get json as a response and uh, with a lot of stpp status code right so that's all for this particular video thank you so much for joining and please do watch like comment and share happy learning thank you